Hello everybody, my name is Antonia and I'm originally from Croatia, but for the past five years I have been living in Finland. And shocking shocking, of course uh, I had my own share of cultural shocks, I prepared a list of 10 that I want to share with you in this video. And just to give you like a quick intro from my perspective, as I mentioned I'm from Croatia and when it comes to mentality, Croatia is polar opposite of Finland. Just putting that there. And let's jump into shock number one. So, I never thought there is a black candy. It's black. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is very... My favorite. This is your favorite? Yes. This... I used to eat this when I was a kid. Yeah? It's the best. Okay. Uh, because it's kind of salty. Oh. Like candy should be. Okay, salt candy. And also, this is pretty much the most alcohol you can buy in a store. 4%. Hey, what is the biggest percentage you can buy in, in the store I of think alcohol? It's 5 or 5.5. .5. I think 5.5 5 actually. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because some like low alcohol wines have 5.5. .5. Yeah, but everything else can be found in alcohol, right? Yes. That's true. Okay, so that's my second point. Like only, like you can buy hard liquor only in Alco. Yeah. Okay, so my friend Rami will also share some his cultural shocks. Go ahead. One of my biggest cultural shocks when I moved to Finland that everybody pays separately. Oh, right. Yeah. Everyone. That's true. That's Even on Valentine. Shock. One more culture shock. Yes. How people love to queue. I don't get it. You find the random guy looking at his phone and people queue after him even if he yes. doesn't know what is going on. <laughs> it happens. That's true. That's true. That's crazy. Another thing that I really love about Finland and that also shocked me how well it was done is everything here is digitalized. Like literally everything. If you want to send a message to your uh, city with some question, whatever, you can do it online. If you want to communicate with doctors, you do it through the app or online. If you want to see all your past medical records, you can do it online. Another point is nudity in Finland. What do you have to say about that? What are your thoughts? Nudity in Finland? It's widely accepted and encouraged. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite true. Like, uh, Finns are shy, but when it comes to going to sauna, they're all naked there. Like, God forbid, hello. say hello to neighbor. No, no way. Uh, but in sauna, that same neighbor and you, will boom, naked. So yeah, nudity in Finland. After five years, we are both five years here. I'm not cool with it. And I, I was, I don't know, like, I don't feel still comfortable around naked people. And I avoid it at any cost. But do you avoid the nudity in Finland? Yes, of course. <laughs> There you go. There are no strays in Finland. Literally, I'm here for five years. I have never seen a stray animal just roaming on the streets. And it's also very popular to adopt animals from Russia and Spain, Romania, even Croatia. And this little puppy is from Russia. And Finns are really, really nice and kind uh, to do that. But also on the other hand, because of lack of strays here, then importing strays is uh, one way to satisfy this uh, I want to have a mutt thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Ire. <laughs> then there is bathroom. So in Croatia we have bathtubs in bathroom and then showers, which are, you know, they have container bottom part and then sliding doors. But here in Finland that's rarity. In most cases, it's just a hole in a bathroom and that's it. You just shower standing on a floor. That was very shocking for me at first, but now I love it. And the last, but not the least, weather. I mean, it has to be in this list, right? So, yes, in Croatia we have snow, we have low temperatures and all of that, Shazam. But I was quite shocked when I had my first winter and second winter and summer also because winter is so long it's a lot of snow always and then summers are very tiny like short like proper summer maybe a few weeks 
and it's super rare that it's like 30 degrees or even more and I'm used to like between 30 and 40 during summer and good three months of summer at least but here it's it's something else. it's very different it's very short and first year I didn't even wear shorts because I was so cold now my body kind of gave up so I can endure lower temperatures during summertime and I, I wear shorts but uh, yeah it's uh, something I, I miss about Croatia the weather but you know it, it's 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 okay like you can you can travel and then have very nice uh, vacation somewhere sunny and I would say this is it for this video I hope you liked it Fins, please comment and say what you think and other foreigners share your shocks. I mean, I'm always uh, eager to hear and it's always funny to hear what people find shocking when they move abroad. If you like this video, remember, put thumbs up and subscribe if you want to uh, see more of my, you know, Finnish lifestyle videos on this channel. And until next time, moi moi!